Hello, so this in this video I wanted to talk about a concept and project called Master Project, which allows you to handle from one file many different sub projects and you get to share your resource pool. And also in this video I'll talk a little bit about macros. Before I get to the uh, actual uh, material for today's class. I wanted to talk about something that I was doing in the last video which I got it wrong. I was trying to put the cost in front on the left hand side of these task on the Gantt chart and for that under format I can go to format bar. However when I was trying to do it it only applied it to one task because I had clicked on that task. So to fix that problem you have to click on the corner, the left hand corner there, so it highlights everything. Now when I go to format bar and I click in the left because there's a bar shape option and also the bar text and in here I can choose, I'll just type C so it comes to cost and I click OK. Now we see every task has the cost that is associated with it. So that is the error that I had done last time. So I'm going to close this file and I don't need to save this and I'm going to come to the topic for today which is called master project so the idea is that I can have many different sub projects which are separate all of these sub projects are separate Microsoft project file and I also have a resource for pool which is like one Microsoft project file which has all the resources listed and then I'm able to link this resource to all the sub projects and then connect all the sub projects to the master project. So I can handle all the projects from one place. And if I had some task also listed in the master project, I can even link the master project to the resource pool. So the benefit is that from one place you can handle all the projects and also you get to share a, one set of resources. So say for example this was like a you were like an interior design company and you had three different projects going on for kitchen and bathroom and home renovation but your resource pool is only one. You have a certain set of group of people that you use for all the jobs. So you can use the master project by managing all the projects in one place so you know what's going on. And if you had task in the master project, you can also attach it to the resource pool. So do this um, exercise, for this exercise, what I did is I created one Microsoft project file called John Bathroom Reno. So and I just added some things starting April 1st and I made stuff up. And I created another project called Lisa Kitchen Reno and I made up some task for it and this one is starting on the 25th and I have linked them to all the and I created a resource pool and I've added myself a plumber and I just said 200 percent because I've got two for example electrician carpenter now to connect these all together I'm going to go ahead and open a brand new file. So I'm going to go to new and a blank. And I'll try to save this. And I'll go to my master. And I'll call this file my master project. And I'll hit save. Now once this is saved, now I want to add the sub projects to this. So I can go to project sub project and I'm going to go to the sub project button folder here and I'm going to double click on the John bathroom reno even though the files are open it doesn't matter now you see when I did that it added all of that jobs from that in here I can double click on it and I get this window I go to advanced and there is the link to the project and I can even make it read only. If I make it read only, it means that any changes I make from the master project, it will not go and affect the sub project. So 
right now if I don't keep it read only then I can even make changes to the sub projects right from here but if I do this I will not be able to update the sub projects so I can click OK and this is the link option is where the problem can also come like if for example the file goes missing then we'll have a problem here so that's why the master project can be a problem click OK I'll click sub project again and I'll in put the kitchen Lisa kitchen Reno also here so now you see I've got both of them and you can double click on this this is the John and this is the Lisa so you see Lisa starting earlier got moved up and the advanced again you can make it read only if you wanted to do that now to connect the resource pool to both of these so for that I have to go to the actual sub project so in this case I'm gonna go back to John bathroom reno the project file for it and I go to resource resource pool share resources and I'm gonna say use resources so for this you have to make sure that your resource file is open because from this list I'll be able to open the resource pool and I click OK and the resource pool is added I'll do the same thing by coming to Lisa resource resource pool share reuse resources and I'll choose resource pool and I click OK now if you had some master projects you had some task in here then you have to do that here too in this case I don't have any right now so I don't have to bother with it but you could add it if you wanted it now if I go to view resource sheet now there are the resources that showed up here even though I didn't add it here they showed up because they are being used by the sub projects and you can go to the tasks and I'm gonna go back to GAN chart and I can start assigning resources so say meeting meet Lisa I can double click on it resources and I can say assign me to that so there it's starting to show up and wherever I need to assign myself I can start to assign myself click OK so that's happening in the Lisa I can do the same thing in John meet John I'm gonna do that job of meeting him and then if I wanted to do some rewire electrical I can give this job to the electrician plumbing I can choose the plumber and now when I hit save it's going to ask me do you want to save changes you made to all of them I can say yes to all and the changes have been made and if I go to say the John bathroom file and you see me is added and the Lisa kitchen the me me and the electrician and the plumber they've been added to these jobs so you can manage everything from one place even even if these files are closed now it wouldn't matter because they are linked to each other so if I go back and I add something say uh, rewire bathroom I can set it to electrician install new plumbing set it to plumber I can hit save fast me sure and I say yes to it and it is done so this is a nice way to manage uh, multiple things multiple projects in one place so now you can see and track both of the jobs in one place and you can also see if there is any conflict going on whether you put the electrician on a day when it's supposed to be somewhere else now let's talk about a little bit about macros so to first of all to start the macro we need to add the developer tab on the top you can do it from two places you can click here and I think instead of going through here let's just go through file options customize quick customize ribbon and we need to choose the developer tab in the customize ribbon click OK and now you should have that 
So if you you might be familiar a little bit with macro, so the whole idea of macro is that you can set things up in such a way so that the repeat task you are doing, it will remember and record that task. So I'll try to record a task and maybe put some formatting on it so then I can keep using it in all the files. So I'm going to click record macro. It's going to ask me for a name so I'll call it uh, format bar for cost. And you can also put a shortcut if you want it like control E. You got to be careful with the shortcut because it cannot be something that's been used for something else like control C is for copy Control X is for cut and Control P is for printing. So say if I say Control R and store in just this project or global file. I'll say, you know what, use it in global file because I want to use it everywhere. And I can click OK. I think it's asking me to change the name. So I'll just call it bar cost. Click OK and I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go to Format, Format, Bar and I'm going to choose Cost so that on the left hand side all the costs should start to show up. Click OK and there it is. The costs are showing up on the left and I can go to developer and I can stop it. I should have clicked away from it so it would have deselected it when I stopped it because now I have to do it every time. Now anytime I wanted to run it I can click on view macros and there it is and I can run it. So to do that I'm just going to open up one of my other files. So I opened my John Bathroom Reno and in the developer tab I'm going to click on view macros, the bar cost and I'm going to choose run. <coughs> and you see it's added that cost in front of all of them. Now you can do this for a lot of stuff. You can do all your formatting and record it, all the colors and all the changes you need to make so that you can just run it every time you need it. So this was a quick tutorial on master projects and macro. Thank you for watching and this pretty much finishes the Microsoft Project 2010 tutorials.